in a limbo, many families across the coastal bend are still waiting to find out what's next with their Driscoll health plan. I'm Nydia Escobar, your neighborhood news reporter, and I spoke to a single mom of three children who says her life wouldn't be the same without the help of the Driscoll health plan. For over two decades, the Driscoll Health Plan has been providing health care for many families across the coastal bend. Barbara Garza's family is one of the nearly 200,000 families that benefit from Driscoll. Driscoll Health Plan has been great to us. Jasmine Garza is four years old and was diagnosed with cerebral palsy, which affects her ability to control her muscles. And back in March, the Health and Human Services Commission, HHSC, announced its intent to exclude Driscoll Health Plan from serving the Medicaid population starting in September of 2025. My first thoughts were, what are we going to do, you know, at our appointments? How are we going to pay for them? You know, is there going to still be aquatic therapy? Is there still going to be horseback riding for her? Like all the little extras, you know, all the little extras that Driscoll Health Plan does help with, you know, it adds up. Craig Smith, the CEO of Driscoll Health Plan, tells me there is good news for now. Uh, the judge ruled that the state could not move forward, block the state's um, ability to sign contracts as it had intended uh, because of a number of statutory and regulatory violations. The court found 13 violations in the procurement process. That really created not only an unfair process, but one in the court's words um, really threatened the health and wellness of beneficiaries through uh, just unprecedented disruption. Barbara says the thought of having to change providers is scary because she has all of her three girls on the Driscoll Health Plan. She says Driscoll has always been there for her. She's doing really good. She is almost 37 pounds now and she's walking with, uh, with the help of her therapist at Driscoll. She does OT speech and PT and even feeding therapy. So what does that mean for families who are currently on the Driscoll Health Plan? Thankfully, for the meantime, it means there are no changes. Uh, the Driscoll Health Plan will continue to operate as it has been uh, into the foreseeable future. Uh, the judge had has placed an injunction um, on the state until the merits of the trial of the case can, can be heard starting next November. Barbara Garza tells me she hopes that the Driscoll Health Plan doesn't go away for her or any other family in the Coastal Bend. In Corpus Christi, I'm your neighborhood news reporter, Nadia Escobar, Chris 6 News.